Fake It Till You Make It Art School is made possible with the help of coffee. Tips are greatly appreciated and help keep the show running. Welcome back to another episode of Fake It Till You Make It Art School. Today's episode involves shape language and how it can be implemented in character design. Shape language is exactly what you think it is. It's a language that communicates what kind of character it is by using shapes. The concept of shape language has been around for a long time, but it's risen into prominence when artists like Sleepy King started utilizing it. Shape language is a good thing, especially for character design, because shapes don't come with language barriers or even culture shock. People can understand shapes. For example, circles tend to represent characters that are cute and good. Squares represent characters who are stable and calm. And triangles tend to represent characters who are active or aggressive. Of course, you're not just restricted to just those three shapes, nor should your characters be made out of just one shape. You can mix and match shapes like adding a square and a circle, or you could use other shapes like a star. There are an infinite amount of ways to design your character based on shapes, and the best part is that there's no wrong way of doing it. Your tools may be limited, but it's how you use those tools to make it work. That wraps up this episode of Fake It Till You Make It Art School. If you like this episode, check out my channel for more content, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.